Hey fellas, Luke here from Crud CNC. I'm back on uh, shore again, just got back from work and um, while I was away I decided to take the path down a CNC, uh, making a, or converting a CNC milling machine. So I've spent a little bit of money, so far about five grand. I've actually bought a TM20V mill, which is uh, a variation of the Chinese G0704 slash BF20. Um, this is the one that Hoss has done the conversion on, so he's kind of inspired me to do that. Uh, so I'm still kind of like waiting for parts to come in. I don't have my mill with me at the moment, but um, when I do get hold of that, I'll go through that as like a separate video with the uh, CNT Fusion conversion kit with all the ball screws and uh, ball nuts and all that sort of thing, mountings and bearings. Um, but all the Pretty much all the electrical gears turned up, so I'll show you that. And uh, a bit of an update in my garage as well, sort of tinkering around in there today. So, yeah, let's get stuck into it. Okay, here's what I have received so far. Um, here I've got some shielded 18 gauge wire, some connectors, uh, micro or oh, small limit switches, emergency stop button, um, a 5 volt power supply, a 24 volt power supply, and a really big. Um, 48 volt power supply. I think it's 600 watts that one. Um, and I've this is all Keeling gear which I got from AutomationTechnologies.com. So on the driving side of it, I've got the C11 uh, breakout board. That's got like two mechanical relays on it and a lot of cool little features. Um, uh, and I chose it over the Gecko G540 because you can have what digital drivers these days. It's like the the new fad and it's supposedly uh, has like anti-resonance and um, and a few more other cool features like that that I can't remember right now but you know, I've gone for the 5056D uh, the D standing for digital drivers so just three of those at the moment um, I've got 570 ounce NEMA 23 stepper motors for all axes I've got um, these like cool little back cover things uh, Kind of like what Hoss was printing on his machine, but oh, I just bought these ones that are really cheap. It comes with a connector and stuff. Um, these are dual shaft step motors as well, so if I ever do want to put like a handle on the back or something, I will have that ability um, or that option. Here I've got some bearings. Uh, I inadvertently ordered some uh, angular contact and some deep groove uh, bearings to upgrade in the spindle on this middle. Um, over there is the really nice stuff, that's the Tormac tooling system uh, gear. So I've got like a, just a spring loaded tap guide, an R8 uh, TTS um, collet thingy madoodle. <laughs> and I've got a 6mm and a 10mm set screw holder for an end mill and I've also got an ER20 collet holder and a Tormac um, Superfly cutter, and I got like an aluminium insert and a steel insert. And I got a chamfering bit there. Obviously, I got more stuff on the way, so as it arrives, I'll update it. But uh, yeah, so that's that's about it. Um, also, the mill, but I can't show you that right now. So that'll be next time. Oh, here I've got like a little uh, 24 volt pneumatic solenoid, so I can uh, have my coolant turned on and off through Mac 3. And I'm excited about that part for whatever reason. That's kind of weird. Anyway, let's go to my garage. I'll show you what I've done there. Just change it around a bit. Right, guys. Uh, in my shed now. It's changed a little bit since last time. Um, I've decided to clean it up and sort of house the mills a bit better to keep all the uh, debris that flies off them in, in place so I don't have to run around with the vacuum cleaning it up. The lighting is something I'm kind of working on. It's night time right now. It's pretty bad. During the day, I just open up the doors and and get a good amount of lighting in. This is this spot here is going to be where the mill, the taller milling machine is going to go, proper mill. Um, and over here, I've kind of like sectioned it off with some board. Uh, it's my 6040, so yeah, it looks much neater and it's nice height as well. Like a, before, I was kind of bending over, and I've got my driver box and stuff underneath, so it's all kind of neat and, and yeah. Um, my computer's just around the side here, I'll just reposition that camera. I do apologise for the poor lighting, but there's really nothing I can do about it at the moment. So, I'll put my computer around the side here and uh, my VFD mounted on top of this wooden table. I um, 
I was really, I've got this new sort of pendant thing, I'll just change into the light. Uh, sorry about that. I, I've got this new pendant on e from eBay and uh, I was really looking forward to doing a review on it, but honestly it's not even worth your time. It's just, it's, I'm fairly sure it's not just me because it seems like a lot of other guys are there having a lot of trouble with it and it's interfering with Mac 3 as well. Um, the main thing is, like, when you go to jog, it just jogs different increments. It's got a mind of its own, really. And uh, it is kind of cheap and chi Chinese. -y. It looked really good on, on eBay for 130 bucks or whatever I paid for it, but I, I really regret it. So just rethink your decision if you're going to buy one. Um, I've already gone on Tormac and bought their, uh, their USB pendant uh, MPG on there. So I know that's going to be good. I mean, this has some nice features and looks very promising, but unfortunately it just doesn't deliver. So, yeah, um, until next time, probably next week, I will uh, should have my mill and uh, start converting it, and yeah, we'll get stuck into it. I'm, I'm pretty excited and probably going to be overwhelmed with the amount of uh, modification and works I'm going to have to do the thing, but uh, it's all going to be fun. You know, hopefully someday I can get a Hoss's level and have that power drawbar and automatic tool changer. So. Exciting times ahead. <laughs> okay, guys, take it easy and uh, yeah, cheers.